Have you noticed that as conservatives, we're constantly told that our beliefs are from a bygone era and our values belong in the history? Yet it's always the left who bring up the past. Slavery is their go-to when it comes to smearing the UK and, of course, the US. They want to punish us to this day for our involvement while completely ignoring the slavery that's going on in the world right now, including in our own South East Shores, where many of the people being trafficked across the channel will end up being put to work by criminal gangs in slavery-style conditions. Sasha Johnson and other lefties love to bring up the No Blacks, No Dogs, No Irish sign, which was made illegal decades ago, while simultaneously ignoring the rampant anti-Semitism coming from the Labour Party today. It's also become fashionable to call anyone you disagree with a Nazi. David Lammy to Brexiteers. Remainers to Dominic Cummings. And most recently of all, Extinction Rebellion to car drivers and newspapers. They make these comparisons yet refuse to comment or condemn China, a country which most resembles a Nazi state. And it is committing a genocide as we speak. These people, they, they call themselves woke, but they actually need to wake up. Horrible things have happened in our past. Disgusting things have happened. But moping around all day, every day, isn't going to change that. When real action can be taken, real change can be made right now to sort out the atrocities that are happening as we live and breathe. So that in 200 years, our descendants won't look back on us and let crimes against humanity slip by because they're too upset with the past and its flaws. The sooner the left stops scraping the bottom of the barrel with stuff we've done in our history, the sooner we'll be able to unite as a country and fight the atrocities that are happening as we speak.